My name is LJ Roberts. I'm an artist living and working in Brooklyn, New York. In 2018, I was waking up with sore hands. The immigration crisis at the southern border was greatly upsetting me. I was clenching my fists in my sleep. My dreams were vivid and fraught. I live in the Brooklyn neighborhood of Red Hook. During my daily walks on the Buttermilk Channel, where the Hudson River and the East River converge, I glance or sometimes stare at the Statue of Liberty, viewable from the piers on the waterfront. Some of my ancestors, Jewish refugees fleeing from fascism and the pogroms of Eastern Europe and Russia, filed off of ships onto Ellis Island, having narrowly escaped the persecution that permeated the region known as the Pale of Settlement. My father speaks Yiddish and Spanish in his sleep. While I had known he was conversationally fluent in Spanish growing up, it was only a few years ago, in my 30s, that I learned he also could dialogue in Yiddish. He is a closet polyglot, but when he dreams, he speaks our family's old world tongue and a language, Spanish, he learned as a teen. My family has very much assimilated our Jewishness, perhaps a result of both trauma and survival. Through the generations, our Yiddish has faded. I know only slang and curse words. Yet, in being settlers, here in this land that is not ours, we have both picked up Spanish, though a grammatically challenged version. I believe that home is not a matter of place, but it, that it is found in diaspora. I believe in the Jewish philosophy that justice is found in perpetual struggle, and that struggle includes resting, dreaming, and support through generations of immigrants. In this city of infinite diaspora, we sleep and we dream with our fists clenched. We regenerate and reimagine both asleep and awake. For this piece, the phrase sleeping with clenched fists, dreaming with clenched fists is translated into Yiddish. Fabricated in Kingston, New York, at light bright neon, the illuminated script is in my father's handwriting. Mounted on upcycled tornado bed springs, the piece mirrors the skyline horizon of the apartments of thousands of New Yorkers living across the East River from Socrates Sculpture Park. The city has long been a refuge and a place of many languages. I hope it continues to be a sanctuary for those who seek it.